Hello there guys, welcome back to another video here on Nasha Vlogs. Today we've had the official announcement from Poulton's Park on whether their Happy Halloween event is returning for 2020. And they have announced that it will be returning uh, this year. It will be beginning on the 15th of October and will run all the way through to the 2nd of November. Now, this is quite interesting because in previous years they've said what's going to be there like live shows indoor attractions the last couple of years we had an indoor attraction called big boo barn which was those who remember poland's a few years ago used to have a drop tower two drop towers called jumping bean and jumping jack where big boo barn normally is is where the drop towers were uh the last couple of years that it's been there it's improved last year they made it a bit more like a scare attraction they had a couple of scare actors at the end and they tried it. Now with this announcement of Happy Halloween returning. There is no mention of Big Boo Barn. Now it is interesting if Poulton's aren't bringing uh, Big Boo Barn back for this year. Because it's been there for two years. This year would have been it's third year. Thing is with Big Boo Barn. Yes it's a family attraction. But it did bring some success um, to the event. Uh, the park, I feel, had been very successful with Big Boo Barn. I don't think they had any issues with it. I think if we're going to take social distancing into consideration, yes, they wouldn't be able to do what they did last year and have acted inside. They could. They couldn't. No importance. They wouldn't want to take the risk. Uh, social distancing-wise, it is possible to do it in that marquee. It's a huge marquee. They'd be able to mark it out. And they'd be able to send people in in their household groups. Uh, very similar to what uh, the dungeon attractions are doing at the moment. That have just reopened across the world. And they, they'd be able to social distancing there. They would be able to do it. Obviously, uh, with Big Boo Barn, normally you come in and come out the same way. And there's a very small gap between the two, the groups coming in and the groups coming out. I think if they were to bring it back, we would probably have a shorter layout. I think we would have a different exit. Uh, there is actually like a fire exit at the back end. So maybe you, if they brought it back, you'd be exiting that way. And then you sort of walk round an exit path round to behind the pirate ship. So at the moment, there's been no mention of Big Boo Barn. So we don't know if it is coming back for this year or not. Uh, when they announce if it will be, we will let you guys know. Also in previous years, since Happy Halloween has started, which was around about five years ago it started. In previous years, Poulton's have had live shows on the uh, show stage. Now, interestingly, this year during the summer, they were supposed to have a pirate themed show on that show stage throughout the summer period. Uh, but when the park went into lockdown, that show was cancelled. And since the park has reopened, well, when the park announced they were going to be reopening in July, to be honest, we were expecting them to announce something. But because it's only now that indoor performances are allowed to start, yes, it's an open air theatre sort of thing, but you've got the actors inside. They haven't announced anything. So we don't know what's happening with that. Maybe they'll bring the pirate show that was supposed to be there this year back to start in 2021. It was the same with Tornado Springs. Tornado Springs was supposed to open this year. That was then postponed until Easter next year. So we might see the show that was supposed to be there this year and Tornado Springs obviously opening as well. But at the moment, Ponds Park have said that shows will run between the 24th of October and the 1st of November. But they haven't announced what shows are going to be there. In the past, they've normally had about two or three shows on there. Well, actually, between two to four different shows on that building. The thing that made the Halloween show at Poulton's different to anything else that I've seen, the way the park designs... The lighting, they have like all these disco lights and it looks brilliant. Especially if you went during the late night opening events that they introduced uh, two years ago. Uh, normally the late night shows 
are brilliant. The late, just the late night opening in general, you get to see the park in a very different light, and I feel like they do need to start doing more of this. At the moment, they haven't announced whether the Legend of Poulton's Manor show was gonna is going to come back for this year. It's a good show. That one, it blends magic and music, and it, it, it is brilliant. And the team at Poulton's always do a good job with it. So at the moment, we don't know what shows are going to be coming back there. But like I say, just like with Big Boo Barn, when we get an announcement, we will let you guys know. Now, Poulton's have announced that Late Night Opening will be back this year. Uh, the dates for Late Night Opening this year are the 27th and the 29th of October. That's a Tuesday and a Thursday where the park will be open from 10 a.m. until 7.30. So we've got Late Night Opening coming back. I think it'll be interesting to see what they do social distancing wise with that. But it is interesting to see that they're bringing the late, late night opening back. But not any attractions that might make it worth going. Yes, you get the rides in the dark, but it's nothing special. I personally prefer late night riding at Fort Park than to Poulton's. But, yeah. Guys, let me hear your thoughts down in the comments. What do you think? Tell us what you think about this announcement. Um... Apart from that, we are expecting an announcement about their Christmas event soon. So, once we get an announcement about their Christmas event, not many places have announced their Christmas event yet. Um, I think that's next on the bill. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. If we get, remember, at 400 subscribers, I'll dye my hair blue. So, if you want to see that, hit that subscribe button. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Be good people.